Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is one of the series, How You See Them Versus Reality. The rest of the series are in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Check them out if you want. Every reading is a different story about a different situation. Everything you know, renew, excuse me. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. I get the feeling that somebody, each time they start to talk, they mean something, but they say something different. You are not really good in communicating with this individual or with others in general. You always want to say something and you end up saying something completely different. I don't know if this message will put someone or not. It has something to do with our reading or not. Let's see. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you, and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story, and you decide who is who in this story. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button, so each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can, hit like, share, and comment. Thank you so much for doing that. The Six of Wands is the card of victory. There is sense of a victory coming from somebody here, feeling that they were planning for something and they succeeded to reach their goal. Let's see, I will put this aside and start. This is how you see them. This reading is comparing how you see them in, in reality from your point of view and what is the reality of this individual based on what the tarot will tell us. This is how you see them physically, reality. Emotionally, reality. Mentally, reality. How you feel about them, how they feel about you, and this is the outcome. How you see them physically, strength, reality, the page of ones. You see this individual as if they are, and I'm feeling the energy of someone who is strong. I am not feeling you believing that this person is holding back. Maybe for some times you will feel them holding back towards some situations in life, but I believe you feel that this individual is very strong, very strong in their personality, or maybe sometimes for some of you, very, very strong in their appearance as well. While this individual is the page of ones, this individual is trying to learn again from life. They believe after what happened in their life or after they ended the cycle, the past cycle in their life, they are brand new right now, ready to explore life and learn whatever life will bring them they are ready to learn their lessons from that this individual and i'm feeling the energy of the appearance as well you feel that this person is strong in their appearance i'm feeling somebody here for some of you, maybe this is not for all of you, who is very interested in building their body physically like muscles. You see this individual very strong, but while reality, this person is feeling that they are way too far from the appearance that they are planning to be. This person is transforming their body in, real, in physical completely. Maybe this individual is trying to change their shape by losing weight. 
or maybe by gaining muscles, exercising, this person is trying to change. You think they, are, did, they did a good job? Maybe they did. But for them, they are in the beginning of the way. This person is planning to change their appearance completely. I believe for some of you, they want to lose weight. For others, they are changing their style in outfit styles. Some others, they're trying to build a really big, huge muscles. This individual feels in appearance that they are still in the beginning of what they want, while you and others think that they did a huge, beautiful job in that. How you see them emotionally, the eight of swords, reality, the five of pentacles. I believe what you're feeling from them emotionally is right. This person is feeling left out in the cold from some situation in the past. And I'm not feeling the energy of someone still grieving the past or feeling that pain. But this individual left a situation, changed their life. I know this individual did a lot of healing in so many aspects in their life, but this in, in their heart section, let's say, they are afraid that they are not healed yet. They are afraid that they are not ready to start or try love one more time. This individual is not feeling the pain of the past. This individual healed their heart but still, like if you, as if you have a walking problem in the past and you did the operation and you are fine and you're ready to walk. But the first few steps are too scary for you and you are not really confident to try. In the heart space, this individual is not really confident still to try. Because of that, you are feeling the Eight of Swords from their energy, because this person is a little bit scared. If you will see here, and this is what captured my eyes this time, this lady is dipping her toes, like, let's say, in the water, trying to take that first baby step. But you cannot say that they are not terrified and, like, afraid of trying one more time. In this part of their personality, the heart space, this individual is still a little bit shaky about trying one more time. How you see them mentally? Judgment. You feel that this person, and I believe this is the main issue here, the main story is in these two cards. You feel that this individual with this judgment recalled the past, learned their lessons and they are ready to move on. You're right. But what you didn't feel yet, that this person feels that what happened to them in the past, even though it was very, very painful, they feel that was the luckiest thing that happened to them ever. Because that experience, that story, that pain that they felt, in the past, changed their personality completely and opened their eyes to a beautiful new way of living. They feel that without this pain, they will never exp like explore that part in life. This person right now, after they went through all the healing and came out of that past energy, completed the cycle completely, they feel that they are so lucky to get the chance to go through all that because they feel that the life right now after that pain and transformation and change will be the happiest life ever because they flipped their energy, they learned something new, they feel that they came victorious from them, from that pa past experience, bringing them luck to life, learning a very important lesson and they feel that they were so lucky 
because they get the chance to go through this. This individual is very positive about that previous experience in their life. They are so grateful for what happened because what happened at that time make them what they are right now. And this is the victory that, I, that they are feeling here. I believe the real personality about this person is here with these three cards. This individual was strong enough and smart enough to turn the pain to victory. To turn that loss to a very good luck in their life. And this is a very unique, smart personality where they can turn pain into happiness. And this is what happened in this individual life. Let's see how they feel, how you feel about them. The sun. You feel that this person will bring happiness to your heart. You will not be ever as happy as you will be if you are with them and I believe knowing this person brought this sun energy to your life already and you want this sun to keep shining in your life till the end let's see how they feel about you the ten of swords this individual right now is still Ten of Swords is the end, but this individual is not very confident in this aspect of their life. This is, goes very well with these two cards. This individual is still afraid to try love one more time. And this individual is terrified that they will maybe on the long term, they will live the same situation, feel the same pain one more time again in their life. This person is trying hard to heal this aspect of their life, but I don't think they've succeeded yet. With this Ten of Swords in this position, my dear, about their feelings towards you, I believe this individual is not ready to be in love right now. They are not. Maybe this part still need more healing. They want, with this lady trying to walk, they want to try baby steps in this aspect, but they are not ready. They are not ready. I don't know if this individual is showing you any interest in being in a relationship with you because to be honest with you, I don't want to lie. I'm not feeling that here. There is no card showing me that this person is interested emotionally in you or interested in emotions in, in general. This person is focusing on their learning, their outfit, like, I mean, their appearance, their future, what they want to do in life, but they are putting emotions on hold for the time being. This person seeing their strength, where, in, what, in which aspect of their life, and they are trying to focus on that. They know that love and emotions is their weak point at this point in time. Because of that, they are not focusing in, on here. I don't think this individual is ready or wanting to try love one more time. Their interest is completely different. They are interested in transforming their appearance, their way of dealing with life, learning something new and they are in their mental space feeling lucky because they get the chance to learn what they learned from the past and trying to use this experience 
in life to change. They, this individual feels that what they learned through the past will make them a very lucky individual in the future. Because they believe that they learned the keys to success. And this is what they are trying to focus on right now. I believe before we go to the outcome, for the time being, I believe this individual is interested in friendship. They are not about love. Maybe something very light, very casual, but not love. Definitely for the time being not. Let's see the outcome. The hermit. This aspect of this individual life, this still needs a lot of healing. Because of that, if you are thinking romantically about this individual, they are emotionally unavailable for the time being. If, they are, if you are thinking about this individual as a friend, a partner, in something about work, something tangible, a project, this is the perfect individual for you because they feel the confident and they feel they learned what they need to learn to be successful. So for it depends on what aspect you are focusing with this individual about. If you are thinking about them as a friend or as a partner, they are perfect for you. If you are thinking about them as a love interest, this is not the right time for this person, unfortunately. As I told you, this individual is emotionally unavailable for the time being. So either accept the friendship and go on from there. You never know what the future will hold. Or if you are working with them, this is the perfect partner. If you are after love, my dear, this person is not the right choice. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.